Hey, yo, what's going on? It's your boy CJ Miller. We are back with another episode of Comic Saturday, even though technically it's not Saturday anymore, it's Sunday. But, whatever. This will release on a Saturday. Um, what's going on? So this episode will be reading The Last Ronin, The Lost Years. So if you remember back during the original uh, Last Ronin run, where Michelangelo was going through like the world trying to get to his brothers on the other side of the world, I think in um, Japan, to hopefully find out what happened to his brothers. Well, this is kind of what that is. Everything that got f- that we didn't see that was like black and white in the comic or in the graphic novel, this is basically what those years are. They fill in. And also, if you remember at the end of The Last Ronin, we got, technically speaking, four new turtles. And in this one, we're going to know more about them. We're going to know their names. What, I don't want to say powers, but what skills they have that's different from the original, the OG Turtles. But, um, yeah, you know what it is. And don't forget to hit like on that Twitter. Hit like on that YouTube. Hit like on that. I need to go back on Instagram. Uh, the Facebook group page, The Mellow Podcast. We bring all your reading needs to life. Uh, I'm trying to do a new pitch, but all right, man. So let's start this, you know. Hakido, Japan. Then get a foolish child. <laughs> get up, New York now. I think open six and say, me tummy hurts, so hungry. <sighs> Kids, you always hungry. Old and fatty, that why? That not nice, Uno, take back. Why, it true. <gasps> just like you always grumpy, Moja. Maybe I just too hungry. Eat you finger. Maybe you try. Save this energy for when we get to the sparing part of your training. Today it's all about basic forms, nothing else. Now get back in formation. As Ape, the new... I forgot their daughter's name. Oh my god, I feel like... Casey. Jesus. As Casey starts training the new turtles. Now get back in formation. Yee? Help your brother up. Come on, Odin. Time for Tai Chi. Aww. Tai Chi too hard. Not for me, fatty. Take. Back. Oof. Knock it off. Well, I say this is a good time. Mom. For a time out. Grammy April. How long were you there? Long enough to see some little turtles being very mean to each other. Moja, I know you were sticking out for your other brother. But violence is never the right solution, young lady. And Uno? Nobody likes a show off, mister. Sorry, Grandma. Mm. Now, why don't you kids go take a break so your sensei and I can have a little talk? Hmm? I do try Tai Chi alone then? Whatever. Me so hungry. I know, baby. Grandma will make you a yummy sandwich when she's done here, okay? With the crust cut off? You know it. Grammy April? Can I help you fix things in the garage? You bet, kiddo. Go away from me there. Just don't touch anything. You're not supposed to. I won't. I promise. You know she's going to mess with everything in there, right, Mom? Yep. Reminds me of another little busybody who used to work amok, run amok in this place. Except you were always better at breaking things than fixing them. Well, I can't fix these kids, that's for sure. What's to fix, Casey? They're just babies. Babies who I'm supposed to turn into ninjas, which I totally suck at, apparently. When did training them to be ninjas become mandatory? I seem to recall you making that decision all on your own, kid. For them and for you. Yeah, I know. But it's the right thing, isn't it? I mean... With everything happening in the city, ever since Sensei, well, you know. Casey, 
I know you're trying hard to follow in Michelangelo's footsteps, and I guarantee you, wherever he is now, he's very proud of you. But we both know that his dying wish wasn't about fighting. It was about, it was about knowing peace. Except the fighting didn't stop. Which is why all the more reason we should be taking Mikey's advice. It's not gonna... I'm not gonna lie, Case. We still got problems, even with the Foot Clan gone. Donald Taylor once told me that nature harbors a vacuum. And that's proven true with the new power struggle in the city. But Donnie also taught me the scientific method to find a problem, gather info, postulate a solution, test, look for successes, and admit failures. Start over if necessary. There were plenty of times when I didn't think I had what it took to be a good mom to you. But then I remembered what Donnie showed me, and I always found a way to make it work, even when New York was way worse than it is now. You've just got to take baby steps at the start. Especially with babies. Yeah, I guess so. I bet Master Splinter's old journal says something about failure, huh? Yeah, it says defeat is only real if you let it be real. Ooh, I like that. That's I see some deep stuff. As Casey looks at Master, Master Splinter's journal, a page reads, The defensive mind, movement. Defeat is not defeat unless accepted as reality in your own mind. Bruce Lee, hand form, earth to sky, movement, 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 different f movements of being defensive, I guess. Three years. Three years since I felt anything. And now pain? Flooding my senses. My entire being. Mind. Body. Soul. The pain reminds me that I came here to die. And I welcome it. Wait, didn't Mikey fuck? Didn't. Michelangelo die? I'm I'm about to get... Oh, okay. We're going into back. I completely forgot about this part. The long path that led me to this moment is piled high with murdered bodies of my family. Raph. Leo. Donnie and Master Splinter. My brothers. My father. Our friends, too. April O'Neil. Casey Jones. The Fugitoid. All victims of an ancient family feud. Oroku versus Hamato. Except for me. So nothing left to live for. I just started walking. Up this cold and unforgiving mountain. To meet my own end. As Mike Leggins continues walking up a mountainside. He enters a cabin. And I thought I'd found what was look I was looking for. A place to stop. To let go. To lie down. To die. I was wrong. Freezing temperatures, no water, and no food for who knows how long. And still, my mutant body wouldn't let my spirit go. Neither would the voice that was suddenly whispering inside my head. This is not your destiny. When spring finally arrived, I figured I, if I wasn't going to die, I'd better get busy surviving. And it seemed like the universe agreed. The lost and lonely place I'd chosen to fall began to lift up. Providing me the sustenance I needed to live. The, and the solitude necessary for me to search deep inside myself for answers. Any answers. For three years I meditated and religiously studied my father's journal. Seeking balance in its words and pictures. And after a time it felt like merely surviving had become actual living. And that I just might find the final peace I hoped for. But as unexpectedly as it had come, that time passed. Monster! Bill just come up to Michelangelo. I'm about to attack him. Some kind of green freak. What's he doing here? Who cares? Boss says no survivors. Kill it. They charge me like rabid dogs. Practically frothing at the mouth in their mad rush to... Kill me. <clears throat> While the men... Each man keeps striking Michelangelo in the face, in the back. Stopping him, stopping him to the ground. Leo would criticize the sloppiness of their attack. Ralph would probably just say something tough like, That's all you got, punks? And unlike my attackers, I was in no hurry to stop them. Instead, of, instead I welcomed the pain, the death to come, and I imagined what my family would say if they were here. And father, what would father say? Get up, foolish child. Oh, wait. 
Sorry, I think I missed the page. No, I did not. Back to attack the attack of Michelangelo and his father and the, his brothers. Before. What? Huh? Father? I said get up. Your brothers have nearly broken through the last line of foot defenders. Oro Kusaki's head and vengeance will soon belong to the Hamato clan. This is what I have trained you for all your life. This moment. Get up and rejoin the fight, Michelangelo. I, I can't, father. Hear me, boy. This is not your destiny. This will not leave you here to meet a coward's end. Coward? I'm no coward. This is not my destiny. Why won't this thing die? I already told you, it's a monster. Yeah, well, I got something to put it out of its misery. Turtle soup tonight, man? That's right, chop it up. As a man picks up a hacksaw, time to get up, Michael says to himself. As a man attacks him, time to fight. Michelangelo starts attacking the men, kills one of them. Cowards. Killing just to kill? No respect for life? No honor? No mercy. Michelangelo jumps and starts attacking all the, all five men. Years of rage, loneliness, grief, guilt. I let it all out. They never had a chance. And then it's done. And the fatigue sets in. From the battle. For my life. My life. This is not your destiny. My life was set for me from birth. Respect, honor, redemption. Family. Master Splinter was right. This mountain sanctuary with its false promises of peace and resolution was never my destiny. No more than fooling myself that I could quit my family's long war against the Foot Clan ever was. Redemption for my family? On the battlefield. That's my destiny to the end as Michael keeps walking through the woods he lands on a village that's all burning up in flames hell I passed this village when I first arrived at the mountain three years ago poor farmers and shepherds and their families peaceful hard workers doing what they had to do to survive who would do something like this the village almost seemed ancient when I first saw it like a place lost to time. A sacred place. There it is. That's the monster that attacked us in the hills. Attacked you? Just like on the mountain, my rage overtakes me and I strike without thinking. There's a calmness to my fury. Fists, blades, bullets, I see every threat they throw my way. Clearly, almost as if the battle's moving in slow motion. I can see... That they all wear the same tattoo as the ones I fought before. But these guys are bigger, stronger, better armed, and better trained. But this time, something's different. I'm mad. Yeah, really mad. But at the same time, and after three years of only meditating, reading, and gardening, I'm nowhere close to being in true fighting shape. My lungs burn, my muscles ache, my heart races, and I wonder if two battles in one day might be too much for me to handle. Then I remember the dead villagers, innocent victim of these thugs, these cowards, and I find the second win I need to end their pathetic existence. P please don't hurt me. Don't. There. Now I attacked you. As Michelangelo puts the sword right through the man's chest. Whoa, 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 that's dirty. You. You should go now, warrior. Before he returns. Whoa, whoa, sir. I've got you. Go now. Save yourself. He will return when his soldiers do not join him. Who? Who will return? Olgi Koroyohi, death worm. He is all things. Evil, thief, rapist, murderer, feared by all, police, military. All. Not all. Not me. After what he did to your village, there's no way I... No, this village is lost. Nothing left to fight for. Leave now, says one of the villagers. While you can, you will not survive if you dare face Deathworm's army. Alone. Father, uh, I'm sorry. 
Michelangelo, you. I, I just can't do this anymore. Back to the battle from years ago. My son, you are not doing this. We are. Your brothers, you, me. We fight this war together. Always. Michelangelo thinks, alone? So what's it going to be, knucklehead? You just going to sit there and cry like a baby? Or are you going to do what the old man told you? And get moving. As Mike speed his brothers into his own head. To be continued. Ooh, that was saucy! Saucy, saucy, saucy! Ah! Uh, so as you listen, we got the three new turtles names. No, and let me go back so I don't remember them all. We have Odin, O-D-Y-N. We also have, oh jeez, I'm sorry, I'm looking for them. Uno, one. We got Moja, three, that's three of them. And I'm missing one. Where am I missing one? I'm missing one. Hey, I'm missing one. I see. Odin, Uno, Moja. Huh. Why are we missing one? That's weird. Oh no. I find that very weird that we're missing one name. Huh. That's actually very interesting. But what do y'all think of this issue? I thought this was actually very cool. Very quick intro into how these how quickly these turtles have grown up, really. And I think it's really awesome. I find it interesting that April's te- not April, sorry, Casey is teaching them how to fight. They all call April Grammy April, which is funny and cool. There's no way one of them fatty. But who knows? I mean, legit, they don't... Because each name of the kids is highlighted in, like, bold print. Like Odin, Uno, Moja. But the fourth one, there's no name. There's no way one's called Fatty. I can't see that being a thing. But I don't know, maybe we'll find out next issue what one of their name, what the last one's name is. Because, again, I don't see it anywhere. But tell me what y'all thought of this issue. Last Ronin, the Lost Years, issue number one. I thought this was a cute little issue that they gave us. Again, it gave us a quick, quick look at the new turtles. How quickly they've grown. How very, very kid-like they are before their training. And obviously, April trying to tell Casey, you have to take baby steps before you can kind of walk kind of thing crawl before you can walk situation and we go back to the past through the years of when Mikey was traveling through the mountains and stuff like that trying to avenge himself and he finally realized that from an old battle that he had with his brothers and Master Splinter like I'm not a coward I need to step up if I want to avenge my family's death I need to not be a punk I need to man up and do what needs to be done and I thought that was really cool. So, but again, tell me what y'all thought of this issue. Issue number one. Again, the last run in Lost Years. Um, the last couple, I actually got um, different. Uh, I got variant covers, which I think is really cool for them. But again, hit me on that Facebook, the Mellow Podcast page. Hit me up on that Twitter, at MellowPod22. You know what I'm saying? CJ Mellow, at MellowPod22. Know what it is? I'm always, for the most part, lately I've been there a lot, just liking and doing other things like that. Also, 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 hit up that W Energy MFG 22 with 10% off your tubs. They are delicious. I hear they're coming out with some um, caffeine-free new tubs. So let's go, W. You know, you guys, you guys kill it every time. But y'all know what it is. Always and forever. One love. Peace.